This is the completed LEGO Star Wars Hoth ATSD, set number 75322, retails for $49.99 and has 586 pieces. The set includes one build for the Hoth ATSD itself, one probe droid build, and three minifigures. Now onto the build itself, the Hoth ATSD is a very unique build. It's very different from the last two we've gotten before, from the 2018 Mandalorian Raider version as well as the Rogue One version from 2016. The, dip the main difference with this one is that the size is a little bit different. I believe this one's a bit taller than the normal ATSD as well as it has a smaller head as well as no flaps on the front window. And yeah, like I mentioned, the head itself is a lot smaller than past iterations, as this is a different variation of the ATST. The head itself rotates a full 360 with this little knob at the back, which adds nice play functionality to it. And the top hatch opens up as well, as well as just the top panel itself for better opening and viewage of the inside compartments. And as you can see, you can fit one minifigure inside with extra storage space for a pair of binoculars and a blaster. The front turret also moves up and down, and the side turrets also move a full 360, but be very careful with it as it is not a smooth rotation. The ATSD is also loaded with two spring-loaded shooters which, from the back here, you press to launch. The legs are also on a ratchet joint that moves up and down, and this is about the only uh, articulation you'll get. The possibility is very limited, and the only other move you can probably make, besides a very unstable walking, is just defeated slash downed ATST. That is all for the build, let's get on to the minifigures. Firstly, we'll take a look at the Pro Droid itself. I believe this is a different design from what we've got in the past. This one definitely feels a lot smaller than what I remember. The other ones were a lot more wider and bulkier. And I will say this one, in my opinion, it has a more favorable design. The probe droid here has articulative legs or arms, whatever you want to call these. And as well as the head can spin as well. The ATST pilot included in the set has a cool head mold with printing on it, which is, which may be new. I'm not too sure, <laughs> but it's still a pretty cool minifigure nonetheless. Overall, though, it's nothing too particular character-wise at least, but it does have double-sided head printing actually, which is pretty cool. Next up we have the Hoth Rebel Trooper. This is a different variation from what the many Hoth Rebel Troopers we've got in the past. And overall I'd say it's a fairly cool look to it. Um, I can't really complain about Hoth Troopers. I do enjoy me some Hoth Troopers. <laughs> this one also has double-sided head printing as well. Uh, take a little peek there. <laughs> And lastly, we have a Chewbacca minifigure as well. It's the same old Chewy mode that we've gotten many times in the past since I believe The Force Awakens. But the unique thing about this one, it has extra snow printing on the head and some on the leg as well to make it stand out from other Chewbacca minifigures, which is a really cool detail. And the bowcaster shoots a stud, if you don't know already. <laughs> the same design that we've had for several years now. Overall for $50, pretty solid build and for such a niche and not very well known ATSD design because this has only been seen for a few seconds off the background of The Empire Strikes Back so it's very cool that we get to see this as a set <laughs> with three cool minifigures and a nice pro tree build as well. So. Def pick it up when you can. I believe this retires sometime later this year. So that'll do it for today's video. I hope you guys like and subscribe and I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.